Tuesday fashionistas, welcome to their installation of 5 to 15 minutes of fashion with yours truly, Nina Johnson. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if this is your first time here, you're probably thinking, how is this a fashion show? You have on a t-shirt and your hair is a hot mess. Well, today's 5 to 15 minutes of fashion is all about the hair extensions that I found on Amazon that are incredible. So I'm going to talk about those really briefly and then I'm going to show you how I clip them in and curl them with beach waves. And if this isn't your first time here, then you're probably thinking, you know, oh, I don't really like this. Well, same explanation for you too. Thank you for coming back to join me and thank you for making bad life choices because you're going to want to buy these things and spend all your hard earned money. So jumping right in with the extensions and I hope that you can see, sorry about the view, I'm in my bathroom trying to make the most of this. I'm new to this, so just bear with me. I'm gonna work on getting a better setup eventually. And if you can hear my chair squeaking, I'm sorry I'm sitting on a kitchen bar stool because my chair was too low. So first off, the extensions. And I'm gonna link the brands below in the description box. Um, first up, so with my hair, my hair is grown out and you're probably not able to see as well with the lights, but from about here to here is my natural hair color. It's a very dark chocolate brown. And then from the, let me take it down. Um, I leave my hair up in the clip before I do put my extensions in because I like it to have volume. So I take it and grab it and just kind of push it up. I leave it parted um, so I can have some volume on the crown when I put my extensions in. But my hair, and I'm not sure if you're able to see, um, from like roots to about right here where my highlights have grown out, uh, it's a chocolate brown. And then within here, I have like a, they lifted my base color to like a light, well, a warmer brown, a little bit lighter than a dark, dark chocolate brown. And I have, um, some balayage across the front and like highlights in the back. So I kind of have a situation. So because of that, I had to get different types of extensions. So I bought, this is the same brand. I got the chocolate brown clip-ins, very simple here. Uh, they just kind of clip like that, snap on and off. So I purchased chocolate brown clip-ins. I also got a box of, um, it's chestnut brown they're calling it and a light brown mix and then i got a box of uh more of like an ombre balayage where it starts chocolate brown and then it gets lighter because my hair has tons of different colors if your hair is one solid color then jam out with one box but my hair has lots going on so i had to account for like the highlighted portion that's more mixed which is why i got more of this chestnut and I had to account for the more balayage pieces that are like a chunkier, lighter, like dark blonde, lighter than the rest of my hair, but dark blonde towards the front. So what you need for this project, you need a little back comb brush. I found that that works better than my little, little rat tail pick here. So a good back comb brush. You need a scrunchie to pull your hair up and a clip. So this is for clipping in the extensions and then I'm gonna show you the beach waves. So first up, let's just dive in and get started with the extensions. So first you just kind of section off, start at the nape of your neck, section off, and then I'm gonna clip, well, I don't think I'll do a scrunchie. The clip won't, my clip's really tiny, and I don't have much hair, but that clip won't hold on. So that was a really bad parting job. Let me try a little bit better. There we go. Um, so you part, I, I put a lot of clip-in extensions in because my hair is really short and I've got really, really long extensions. So I put them all the way up to my crown. I wear my clip-ins more like it was like a U-part wig. Um, when I had longer hair, I would just do them in the back for length, but now I'm doing them kind of as like a whole different look. So to have them blend, I bring them all the way up. So just getting started. So I start with the darker brown on the very bottom and I take my little back comb brush, give a little tease at the root so the um, extensions have something to stay in because if your hair's straight, um, they'll just slide out. So, and that's all she wrote there. So I'm gonna clip in these and probably try to fast forward through a lot of the talking here because it's redundant. You just section. And I need to use the mirror and not the camera because I can't see what I'm doing. And again, I use tons of clip-ins, so I don't make really big sections. I just use just enough hair to back comb to clip them in. 
I don't know if you're able to see that, but we're rolling and the sun's rolling back in and so it's getting really bright in here. Sorry about that. Um, and so I start with the bottom, I start with the clip-ins that have two little Brett comb things. And then as I get higher, of course you need, uh-oh, I forgot to tease it, which is why it didn't really want to stay in. So I just give it kind of a back comb with the brush. Back comb it. Kind of, a lot of this is blind. So you just kind of feel it turn into a rat's nest. Once it kind of turns into a little bit of a rat's nest back there, clip them in. So, all right, so I think I'm, as the higher I get, the wider extension I'm gonna need. So this is a three, but it's a really wide three. So I'm gonna do a shorter three. I don't know if you're able to see the difference in that. So when you're putting them in, some of them have three combs, but they're longer. So you can't always count the little comb barrette clippy doohickeys. All this is technical. These are all technical terms. Comb barrette doohickey thingies. So clipping in the, um, another row of extensions now. So just moving on, adding more clip-ins. Um, one of the things I will note about this brand that is less expensive, they don't have like longer pieces that will go across the whole like circumference of the back of your head. So sometimes in one row, you have to do two clip-ins. And so that's kind of a bummer, but and I don't have that problem with extensions that are more expensive, but I just back comb and clip two in. I'm also careful to leave out the edges of my hair or like my baby hairs so that um, they don't end up with all the weight and pressure and I don't want those hairs to break and it also looks more natural when you leave those hairs out. All right, so now I, um, I finished with the dark brown. Now I'm gonna go in with the chestnut mix because I feel like once I get towards the top of my head, like right this region, it's more of a um, it's more of a highlighted mix, and then around my face is more of the ombre. So for the middle section, I'm gonna do. Ah, that's not right. Hold on. I'm gonna do this color with the more of the highlighted pieces. And I lost a piece. Hold on. I'm just gonna use my foot. Oh, oh, got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm gonna start with that now. So more of the same here, just sectioning the hair, back combing and adding more of the light brown, kind of chestnutty blonde extensions here. Again, being careful to uh, leave out the little baby hairs in the front and back combing all over and clipping them in. This box actually had a couple of extensions that would go the full circumference of my head, so that was nice. So if you get this color, you may end up with some longer piece clip-ins. But just rolling through here on the middle section of the mix and getting ready to head in to uh, the clip-ins that are ombre -ed. Okay, so that's quite the volume, right, on the bottom. Do you see that? Alrighty, moving on. This is where it gets like super hot. So as you can see here, like it really doesn't blend. So I've got to do some more up through the top. So now I'm going to go through and add some more on the crown. And then I'm, I'm switching to, now that I'm at the very top, I'm going to switch to my ombre because this is where my hair goes from like dark to light and so i'm going to switch to the ombre and i i feel like by now you guys are like we get it you're back homing you're clipping in extensions but i don't want to rob anyone of the full experience if you're curious so here's a little sample of me adding the clip-ins the crown of my head but it is literally the same process back comb snap in and so on and so forth i'm rocking back and forth and i hid all my daughter's toys in the bathtub so i could pretend like i have my life together when we all know that I do not have my life together. So from here, this is the part that I'm just gonna leave out and I'm gonna get ready to curl and it will all blend. But that's the 
installation process. Oh, I have like a really sad clip in back here that's just not in. Cause you know why? Cause I didn't tease it. So it's barely in my hair. Let's hit that. Let's hit reset on that, shall we? And it's just not in there great. I can't really see what I'm doing. And I do this blind anyways. Oh great, the camera's running out of battery. Just go. Alrighty. So the battery died, but I got all the clip-ins placed. Now I'm gonna curl, and sorry my weave's so long that you can't see the bottom, but I'm gonna try to give you the best view I can. So now on to the curling. I'm gonna put a little of this to the side. This is a lot. It's fun, but it's hot. Okay, so now for the curling portion. I use a skinny, skinny, skinny curling iron. I forget if this is like, I can't remember what this is. Also, I'm pretty sure there's some not real hair in here. I mean, it's not like the great, these aren't the greatest extensions. Like, I mean, this is like for playing in for fun. They look good, but I don't know if it's like your everyday look, if it's the best plan. I mean, TBD on that because let me just see how they like wear. They don't get super tangled, but I did notice that when I curl it, I get some pieces melted to the curling iron and that leads me to believe that there are some synthetic hairs in here, but we'll see how. But they don't turn into a rat's nest, which is nice. So for the curling process, this is how I curl my natural hair with beach waves. Um, I just do it straight up and down and I legit just like make a Shirley Temple curl. Like that is the secret. A skinny, skinny curling iron because they're gonna fall so much. And then I just keep like winding it down. I don't know how to use a wand. I mean, mad props to the girls who know how to use wands because I got nothing. And so I'm just curling here. I don't know if you're able to see that. I'll get nice and close. Get the ring light off my face because it makes me look greasy. Maybe it's my shimmer that makes me look greasy. But like literally this is the process. Just, and you'll be able to see as I get higher up. But that's the gist of it. And it looks awful like while you're doing it. It looks like, like ramen noodle spiral curls. Like it's not the look you think you want, but it's gonna fall. And so you want it just like way tighter to start because by the time it falls, it will fall to like a pretty looser wave. And it takes forever. You just have to like curl tiny sections at a time. And so because there's more hair at the top, is that like, okay. Because there's more hair at the top here, I leave the curl, not that long, that was too long, but I leave it um, at the top a little bit longer than the ends because my real hair is up there and it's just a little thicker. And I honestly just like keep turning it, like making it a little spiral. Like think ramen noodle, like tight Shirley Temple curl. But I keep my curling iron up and down and I curl away from my face. I hate to see curls, curl, curls, twirled, curls? curled towards the face. Is that what I want to say? Because I feel like it looks like doo-doo curls when it's like that. It doesn't look like a wave, it looks like a big old turd. So you just keep going. I'm gonna do this whole section on camera and then I'm gonna stop recording because I think you get the idea. And just leave it here until you feel the heat kind of come through on the other side. And then tap, 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 tap. I 
probably could have worn a cuter outfit for this, but I had on my Southern University t-shirt. And you may be wondering, did I go to Southern University? No, this is an alumni shirt. I graduated from Southern University. The Southern University, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, just in case you're curious. Which one? Super obnoxious about my school pride. I'm one of those. So when I get up here where it's like more of my real hair and clip-ins, I curl bigger sections to kind of make it blend. Oh my back hurts. It's all this hair. All my weaves holding me down. Oops, that was kind of crappy. Let's hit reset on that. Oh, this is how I feel like sitting. Like sitting up straight, it's really hurting my butt. I mean, that's probably how you should sit up straight, but I don't feel like it. What do I want for lunch today? I think I want sushi while the baby's asleep so I don't have to share any with her. I'm that mom. You guys want a cameo from my baby daddy? Should I call him in here and tell him we're not recording? No, because he might be naked and shirtless and then I don't need anybody calling me saying they're pregnant because they saw my husband shirtless and just be awkward. Okie dokie. So the trick is to try not to touch them and just let them sit, but I've never been good at that. So I always like finger them and try to see where I want to like start over, like right here. I'm not pleased with that curl. So I'm gonna hit it again. But honestly, like this is literally the gist of it. I mean, I'm gonna keep going. But this is, this is it. So I'm back and I've done three quarters of it. And I just have this left to do, but sorry, you can't see the top of my head and the bottom. Hashtag long hair, don't care. Sorry, you can't see my hair. I kind of care because you can't see the bottom. But um, this is two thirds, well, three fourths, three quarters curled. And I'm gonna do the last section. I'll kind of do it on camera. I'm not sure if I'll fast forward or what, what have you, but I noticed too, as I was curling the first section, I didn't have the curling iron turned way up. So it was like taking forever. Um, also, like I look kind of shiny, but I'm not, it's just like, I'm not greasy. It's just shimmer. I probably need to use a little less shimmer. <sighs> but I love it. Yeah, my curling iron wasn't turned up, so it was taking like a lot longer than it normally does, and I couldn't figure out why. It was because my curling iron wasn't all the way up. But now that I have it all the way up, I'm rolling. So I kind of botched the first side that I did on camera. My curling iron wasn't turned up high enough, so it didn't really make the curls tight enough and it took too long to curl it. So I'm doing it properly on this side with a curling wand turned up to 450. Again, keeping it straight up and down, curling away from my face to create a really pretty wave. That's the gist of it. So I'm fast forwarding through this because I think you get the idea, right? We all get the idea, Nina, moving on. Just bumping myself just now made me think about my daughter. We read her a book and it's about like all these animals doing things they leave out the hippopotamus and my husband, he's like the official sound effect at her. And um, when we read it and we say, but not the hippopotamus, he goes, I say, oh, it's so sad. And he goes, womp, womp. And so now whenever I say something sad, my daughter goes, womp, womp. So the other day, of course, I pop off a press-on nail, cleaning her room, mind you, and I went, oh, that hurt, it's so sad, and she went, wah, wah. Kind of hurt my feelings. She's in a whole phase now, though, of like, just being annoyed with me. Like, she doesn't turn three for another, oh, she's gonna be three in a couple weeks, oh, a week, she'll be three. Um, and like, we are just all up in the three-nager phase. Like, she's so frustrated and just put out by everything I do. Like, um, 
I called her and my husband into the house to tell them there was a dead mouse in the house and I just had hidden my Mac, my magic mouse in the closet and I said, dude, there's a dead mouse in here. And I called them in because I thought it would be funny and he looked at me and realized that I was talking about a computer mouse and my kid went, oh, mommy, like I'm so annoyed. She's annoying. My nose is itching. She's the annoying one. She tells me jokes that aren't funny and stories that never end. I'm hilarious. All right, gang. This is an undertaking. I don't know what I've signed myself up for, but this is quite the undertaking. So right now it looks like ramen noodles. It does not look, it does not look up. Like I'm gonna turn this light down too because I feel like, whoa, that's not down. Oh, is that too dark? I'm having like light struggles because it was really bright in here and then the clouds moved in and it's just a struggle bus, but I think you guys get the gist. Try not to. Alrighty, last little piece. Let's wrap on the curling. And then all I do to finish it, I hope I have, I like a uh, big sexy hair spray and stay. Do I have any? I don't have any in here, but what I would do is I would give it a shot of hairspray and just kind of finger through it, which I shouldn't be doing this side yet, but you know, just for the sake of at some point ending this video. <laughs> so that's the gist for the beach waves. This side I probably should have waited on because now I've like ruined it. Shit. <laughs> crap but um this is the gist of it and i feel like can you guys even see this i just got really really orange i don't know where to go but that's the gist of it there we go beach waves so um what i would go back and do is just kind of like hit my roots again with my straightener to give my make my hair nice and straight to make sure it blends but that is the gist gang that's it she is done and I'm going to take them out and take a nap now because that was a lot of work. Okay, um, below I will link, I will put links to where you can buy the extensions. If you want this little curling iron, I got it from Sally and it's, um, it was cheap too. It was like hot shot tools. It wasn't crazy expensive because I drive all my tools on the floor and I break them. Um, but that's the gist of it, gang. And... We are done. I'm gonna give it a shot of hairspray. It probably doesn't need much hairspray because I've used these clip-ins already and I've already sprayed them. So they will probably, the curls will probably hold just fine, but that's the gist. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe bell and hit the bell, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you guys can be in the know about all things apparently hair accessories and fashionable. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys for the next installation of five to 15 minutes of fashion. Hug each other, love each other, and stay fabulous.